Chapter 8 Terminals Introduction The chapter addresses the design road terminal support facilities and primarily intended the support unit mobilization design planning information terminal so that supply to be posed ammunition plans and and should be obtained with the construction branch of the Army Material Command. The terminals can ta and track of the facilities loading, unloading, tractor wheel, vehicles, containers, equipment, and ammunition, fuel, and general supplies, holding empty cars waiting for the load, and loaded cars waiting to unload, and the cars that require repair and adjustment for the load of the tie down or the tie down, switching maneuver cars in the round of the terminal, reordering turning in the line of the cars, allowing the engine to cut it out on the either side of the cut of the cars, interchange holding the lo load of the empty cars waiting to be picked up, connecting the commercial carrier cars are delivered installation of the commercial carrier storage for the cars frequently used or moved fuel housing engines two sitting in the sit general layout and sitting in the layout of the terminal rules of the design must be considered space requirements logistics security safety presence of use of existing care facilities character of terrain natural terrain as well as mission requirements of location of the terminal areas a site must be selected as the correct size shape the orientation to provide with the convenient access to both vehicles and railroad service where space is very limited two or more separate terminals may be considered to provide sufficient capacity the option option may result in between the traffic load lo that's congested and might offer to occur in the single site that must be a complicated a command and control loading of the operation security arrangements track the track design deal wheel design wheel loads for the running of the track and terminal areas ta using table 210 and 10 miles per hour less for the track where the cars simply placed and removed to extinguish from the use of the general running back and forth switching movements frequently occur such as the warehouse siting of the spur track dead end tracks including the loading and storage tracks to use the table 2 light use for the run around track of the passing yard siding yard tracks the wise balloon tracks or other tracks of the switching movements a common curve that they use the table to 10 miles an hour or less be the gradients gradients on the running track of the through the terminal should not exceed one percent annual on auxiliary tracks where the percent of the temp cars were temporarily left standing during the switching gradients should generally not exceed 0.3 percent the gradient track tracks where the percent cars to the left standing one or more days on such a loading yard and the storage tracks should generally not exceed 0.2 percent maximum allowable of 0.3 it is desirable to hold, have these tracks slope away from the main track of the connecting track if the handbrakes do not properly hold on the track then they would not be told to, uh, toward to not roll toward the main track. The yards are best graded as shown in figure 8. One, the track sloping of the top or the center of the where the storm drain is, is provided with the provide grading alignment with the preventing of the X cars accidentally rolling toward the either ladder or, or will also facilitate drainage collection runoff of the center yard. Um, this shows a typical small yard with a storm drain, the 0.1 to 3 percent slope into the storm drain of the catch basin from the yard of the track of the main track of the storm drains given from 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, 6 of the ladder tracks catching in basin, basin droplet inlets between the middle of the ladder tracks. Vertical cor curves. Maximum vertical cur curvature sunlight should normally be 0.4%, changing the rate of 100 feet must may be, easy, it may be as high as 2% percent change in entering the existing loading storage and other spur dead end tracks corresponding values of the sags 0.2 to 1.2 respectively. With the track space is available with not inference of the curves with the lower values, the higher values are sometimes needed to avoid putting in the vertical cur curvature through the turnout road crossing along the side of the loading docking. It's best avoided locating terminals vertical curves and sometimes problems with the point fit of the operational result. Horizontal curvature of the truck, truck curvature, curvature should not exceed 12 degrees in terminal areas where normal 9 degree 9 to 10 turnout small or recommended size curvature elsewhere the track should not exceed 10 degrees. Track layout designed with guidance to the layout of the turnouts and curves, ladder tracks, and track connections are covered in Chapter 6. For the clearance and usable track length, the terminal track is typically closed in space near loading docks, buildings, excess roads, parking, stagging areas, parallel tracks, eight etc. X awareness of clearance requirements, especially important clearance requirements, is covered in paragraph 6 4. The maximum usable track length of the position car is extended for the end of the track with the spur track. The clearance of the siding between the two clearances is in figure 6 9 5. five. Vehicle terminals proposed facility requirements of vehicle loading terminals generally designed to transfer the track wheels on the off on or off flat cars in case of small wheeled vehicles the auto racks the tri level cars the vehicle terminal will continue loading track position flat cars nearby standing or, or areas with the hold the vehicles and ramps the multi um, level ramps the transferring vehicles and the railroad cars of the crew medical communication facilities and storage building and a blocking bracing material track spacing when the load tra tracks of the vehicle terminal are laid out parallel to either is often the case the track should be placed space and enough to accommodate one way, way, way vehicle traffic shown in figure 8 to the trap if the cranes required between the load track and either end of the track should be spaced at 50 feet.
a vehicle terminal with 22.5 or um, spaces in between the center of the roads from the side ramp the car stops and ramps and multi-level ramps track length number of the tracks for the vehicle loading and the strings between 10 to 20 cars most effective handling time of the lower limit to 10 minimum of switching requirements for the upper limit of the 20 for each efficient loading thus each loading track should have a tangent length the extending of the 10 to 20 car length from the loading ramp is shown in figure 8-3 the tonnage of flow at car space is the length of 10 to 20 car length straight access road loading vehicles at minimum length the longest vehicle tank um length um vehicle loading ramp fixed multi-level port track approach and road length of the vehicles Number of tracks required for the determinant of the track traffic emission information covered in Chapter 2. The space available for the terminal area criteria for the track length above. Sagging area. The size of the location of stagging number depending on the terrain characteristics available. Space recommendation. The stagging are to be closed if the loading area is possible to facilitate. But under the command and control, the stagging area should be large enough to stag one of the full loading ca ca um, cat cycle vehicle cargo. Those loading the terminal and capacity of 50 flat cars requiring staging area. Capacity of 50 car loads vehicles. The staging area must not include the access road of the end or approach leading up the loading ramp with a straight and line ramp at the at least the full length of the longest car vehicle and be loaded to the practical and line approach should be twice as long length of the longest vehicle to ensure the vehicle can always position readily to the first vehicle that's driven up the ramp it's preferable that the road not directly adjacent to the end of the track to avoid dust cloud approaching vehicles reducing the load of the operations Three for operation after dark staging areas needed to be lighted parking lot type of lighting lighting fencing may also be required if the cargoes are security sensitive. Paragraph thirteen. All right. E and ramps the track and larger wheel vehicles. Rapid lo loading of larger vehicles on flat cars is both best accomplished with permanent end ramps constructed at the end of the loading of the track. While end ramps must be constructed with concrete, wood, and seal and earth must be capable of supporting large and heavy vehicles. Most mobilized typical main battle tank. A general reinforced concrete map ramp is designed in figures eight for the more detailed guidance of the battalion of the Army Transportation Center. The C E N W O E T ETX or website pavement w.west.army-mil slash pks html slash standard html. A well designed engine end ramp will be allow for an M1 Abrahams tank to be driven on the flight car having long. Lowest platform height of the use of the commercial railroad service. Not, it, no, it is safer, easier to drive the vehicle from the lower ramp level. To a higher flat car level, the vice versa. Provide ample width of the enable the guys to walk on both sides of the M1 tank. Provide sufficient level of the platform length to allow the tank to be completely horizontal position prior to the proceeding on the railway car. Over the proper transition between the incline and level platform so the tank will not high center itself in the negotiation of the ramp. Um, here's, here's the uh, concrete end ramp. As you see the top view, side view, and oblique view. To make the vehicle loading inevitable for the end of the car very close to the ramp, the platform necessary to protect the car of the ramp and the impact damage is when the cars are in position of the ramp, the car design of the varied draft gear length, the amount of the engine of the overhang position over the uncoupling of the lever, this protection cannot be re reliably provided the fast wheel stoppings of tracks. The design of the figure 8-4 incorporates a cutout of the front of the ramp to hide of the car and the coupler behind the cutout of the is concrete block separated with the remaining of the ramp structure and cushioning expansion joint of the material of the concrete bl bur blocker reduces the likelihood of the impact damage of the ramp. Six other shock absorbing devices device, and design of devices can be used, including the commercial railway car. The design selects the method best suited for the particular application, while the concrete bumper pack block could easily incorporated with new construction and might, pro impro might prove impractical during relation rehabilitation. Existing ramp platform will not extensively modified. To permit wheel vehicles to cross gap between the ramp and the flat car spanner boards may be necessary. Track vehicles do not require the spanner boards. The fixed spanners are used and they should be detachable so that they will not interfere with the load unloading of the track vehicles. Multi ramps with the smaller wheel vehicles. If installation requirements are multiple, mobilize large quantities of small wheel vehicles. The recommended multiple multi level um, ramps may be used to bi level, tri level rail, rail cars. These ramps are. are Portable pieces of equipment that either purchase, maintain, and installation at least of the commercial railroad when, need, when needed. Like end in, in, in ramps, multiple level ramps are positioned at the end of the tracks for the typical multi level, or shown in the eight figure, eight, figure, eight, figure eight five, multi, portable multi level ramp. Installation um, is important to the ground underneath multi level, level capability of bearing weight of the ramp. Plus, the heaviest vehicle um, loaded to the Portland cement concrete, concrete pad recommended to ensure the ground ramp is stability. 
Six, uh, breakable bulk, small cargo terminals. The permanent side ramp of the permanent part pair tra tracks are recommended for load, breaking, pull cargo into the boxcars, stacking cargo large, opening the near surrounding the ramps. The several repair well tracks run through the terminal. The ramps should be constructed along the outermost track. P side ramps must be meeting the following design criteria. The, the ramp must be capable of supporting the weight of the fully loaded 4,000 forklift. The ramp mall platform must be allowable sufficient area of the forklift to maneuver. The ramp platform must be heavy and convenient of the forklift to drive into the box onto the box car adjacent to the track while into a truck dock docked at the ramp. The ramp incline angle must be enough to the forklift to easily negotiate. Figure eight six shows the diagram reinforced concrete side loading ramp. Um, Side loading ramp with its oblique view, the side of the evaluation height of four, to match the card of the floor, the plan view, concrete side ramp. Seven container terminals. The container um, loading area is includes one track spur with sufficient space on both sides of the track container handler to operate the required space. Size of the car container related to the permanent, primarily large volume of the cargo must be handled in a short time period. The general plans additional guidance, guidance counter terminals can be found in the RIMA manual. Uh, a the container the container terminal should be meet the following design criteria and one include the at least one straight spur track long enough to hold a minimum of five flat cars hold one entrance one exit exit to the year you already located establish one one way circular traffic have sufficient opening of the area of the rough terrain contra container holder handler RTCH efficient operator have the surface that have supported the weight of the rough terrain contra container hold handler carrying a load of 40 feet, feet container. For the nighttime operations, have a parking light type of lighting or position so that the light poles will not interfere with the operation of the rough terrain container holder or the truck trailers operating inside the yard. If secured areas are required, have permanent fences with sally port across for the training track entry and the exits. Um, Eight nine ammunition terminals. Ammunition terminals should be designed to meet the required shipping volume and installation. The terminal may be set either at a bulk break bulk terminal or a container terminal. In addition to the using the terminal requirements, the following safety standards should be incorporated with the design. Terminal yards will be laid out on the unit car of the group basis. Each of the groups separated with the applicable above ground magazine distance. If the yard is formed in two parallel lateral tracks connected with the diagonal spurs, the parallel tracks and diagonal spurs will separate with the applicable above ground magazine distance for the unit groups, quantities, and high explosives. If the yard is tree arrangement consisting of a center load track of the diagonal dead end spurs projecting each side of the alternate interval spurs are separated with the applicable above ground distance and net quantity of the high explosives in the cars at spurs. The railway rail yards were separate with other facilities have applicable quantity and distance and standards. The following recommendations are to also apply for the ammunition loading areas. If load of ammunition will stay in the terminal area, the sufficient time area should be completely fenced. The sally ports across the track entering the road area have low locking pedestrian vehicle gates. The area should be light, lighted in parking lot type of lighting. Three, the guard tower should be required, should be posted in position to allow the vertical observation entire to ammunition loading areas areas. Pole terminals. Design of the POL ter pole terminals handling the storage of the re re regulated state, federal, state, local environmental protection agencies as well as state and local fire marshals. It should be in contact with the design of the POL um, so that the appropriate standards are incorporated with the design. The POL handling storage um, should be con completely fenced, sally ported across the tracks entering and having lock locking pedestrian vehicle gate ve vehicle or gates. See paragraph 13. The area should be um, lit lighted in parking lot type lighting. Um, 10 car interchange purpose of the interchange of the uh, area of the yard of the consistent one or more tracks used to transfer the cars between the installation railroad road and connecting commercial care of these tracks are usually located near the junction of two ra two railroads arrangement figure eight seven shows the example of the exa interchange yard of the arrangement of one or one or both the outer tracks are normally designated by the running track left car cars for the other tracks a significant combined length of the handle the largest expected number of the cars come in and go out at the time. Interchange yard with the main line, um so the D rails and sally ports and security fence line around the uh insulation railroad network from the uh, interchange yard. 
running track. An open running track through the interchange yard will allow the installation commercial railroad and access to either end of each of the interchange track that otherwise leave unblocked connection between the two railroads. The running back track can also be used temporarily for switching. This would make it easier to rearrange, rearrange the if needed to pull out of the selected cars for any of the track. Any installation frequently grade crossing when, or at least one heavily traveled road crossing tracks are graded, especially cross angles at less than 40 to 5 degrees. Access to either end of the cut of the cars are usually required will permit the engine allowed at the front of the train, pulling the cars, rushing the person, pushing either in either direction, providing the providing much visible ability to safe that the road crossing. Set of tracks is sometimes useful allowed of the additional track, the perhaps short spur at an interchange of the special oversight load for the cars were in need of repairing, which would be placed only on the end of the month, and of the train the special movements and they need separate handling. E D rails. In addition to being good maintenance connecting the character usually requires a derail placed on the track leading on to its in its line along with the sufficient length of the track of the between the derailer and the junction. Uh, the derailer is intended to prevent the cars from accidentally rolling in onto or blocking the carrier's track. An option of the derailer must desirable installation into the interchange. While the derailers themselves are not designed in its issue the location with its significant length between the derailer clearance between point of the track should protect the derailer nearly or nearly useless the designer must allow the safe track length in addition with the length of the track required for the car holding and switching space. Three, the safe track needed for the past derail will vary within the grade of the art of the track's configuration junction error. The designer should consult with the connection commercial carriers engineering department of the guidance of placing the derail or prote protecting track security. The interchanging outside of the main installation area otherwise not located and consistent with the view of the recommended area. The complete enclosed with the security fences including lockable solid ports across the tracks. The see paragraph 13 lighting of the garden may also be required in security since of cargo as required as handled. 11. Yard storage and other auxiliary tracks. Purpose. Yard and storage tracks are intended for respectively short and long-term holding cards of the yard capacity needed the least to may equal to maximum number of the cards for installation expected with the handle at one time. Storage capacity must be at least accommodated with the number of the cards to keep the installation over the length of the term. The loading cards are considered the available storage and unless are pre-positioned on the loading. Auxiliary tracks include siding wide balloons with the tracks crossing over trail tail tracks with other tracks using switching maneuvering cars allowing engines clearing the cars clearing the main track other movements and as second engine switching delivering to allow for the engine to ground get around for the other side of the string string cars string of cars um, B, especially where the interchangeable commercial carriers are several miles from the loading site, whether the loading site or within secure area of the yard may be required. A yard is typical of several parallel tracks. The figure 8 1 will show, or if there's a holding area waiting to be located on delivery interchange. An example is where is used here within a mobilization calling for 60 loaded cars to be picked up in a, each at each day, 60 empties to be delivered of commercial carrier, and with the loading setting of 12 miles at interchangeable point, the accommodated 30 cars are at one time. Installation will likely to need a yard to hold at least. 30 second 30 second 30 cars waiting to be loaded subsequently the first 30 after the loaded take more of the room than the second 30 at loading sites Storage tracks. Storage tracks and storage yard may appear to show in figure 8-1, but are often designed as a spur design to an in-traffic single ladder indicated the left corner of figure 8-8. Eight, eight. It's usually not essential to have access to either end of the storage, thus saving the cost of maintenance turnouts at one end of the storage tracks. Auxiliary tracks. Figure 8-8 eight, eight shows the common auxiliary tracks application is below. Auxiliary tracks show the warehouse area with the storage tracks going to the um, uh, inter uh, interchange at the Y, while there's also going up to the balloon track, crossing in a scro crossover to interchangeable yard of the vehicle terminal or siding. At the Y, you may go up to the yard tracks with a um, container terminal or trail tail tra track. Sidings are used temporarily, uh, holding extra cars, holding parts of the string engine cars, while the rest of the being switch allow engine getting around other end of the string cars. Crossovers can be used shut up, short cuts, be, uh, short parts be between the routes, and it will allow engine to around the string. The cars of figure 8-8 eight, eight, shows the ex example all the trains the interchangeable yard to do the cross of the slide and go out with the warehouse of the track, the max, the north. Again, the crossover also sliding conveniently used in the either track and additional handling of the string cars longer than with will fitting on the side of the car may be left in the south of the crossover on either track while the engine using the crossover to go out of the track or then or, or around the open end of the cars. For at least one wide balloon track 
Y or balloon track is also needed for the military installation. The tracks allows the engine to be turned over the capabilities required of the most effective vehicle. Terminals are delivered to installation such vehicles on which facing away the dark backward loading ramps. The cars may be turned so the vehicles can be driven in a forward direction off the cars. One type of the type of the training tracks Y are most commonly required to follow. Far, far less space with balloon track. Balloon tracks are typically used in space and so allow them convenient in circle. Off of the facilities, thus not requiring large land of the area just below the balloon track. Balloon tracks have advantages of the other over the wise and requiring only one terminal signal movement to accomplish the turn. Wise requiring backward movement to complete the turn as well. Through the more switches, wise are often created with the installation of a third leg where junction also are, are already exists or is required. For the example, why always convenient access to the warehouse traffic are either north or south directions. When a yard or side is located near the end of the route, the tail of the traffic is avoided to the Allow the switching for the far end of the yard is sliding. The tail track is mostly useful at least three cars' lengths longer than the siding of the longest track in the yard. Show, shows the tail track north of the container terminal. 12. Miscellaneous buildings. Purpose in each terminal, the area of the buildings needed for the storage shelter and other purpose of the vehicle. Terminals, buildings needed for the crew communication facilities or blocking, bracing, storage. Crew communication facilities, the following should be considered when designing a crew communication facilities. Buildings should be located as close to the loading areas possible without interfering with the flow of the vehicles by changing areas of loading ramps. The buildings should be large enough to accommodate billeting of the railway loading crew, the tip of the phone public address system of the facility, better in command control, block, bracing, and storage facilities. The following should be considered when designing a blocking and bracing storage facility. The building should be located as close to the loading as track as possible. Coalition within the crew of the communication facility may be desirable. The, ro the buildings need to be large enough to hold the men, both locking and bracing material required for one of the cycling loading, and that is enough material to the maximum car capacity of the terminal. 13. Security fencing requirements. Security fences may be required to surround facilities within the terminal, even in the completing terminal. The fencing is typically standard ch chain length construction of 6 to feet to the FE5, or however, the more secure fences of FE6 and FE7 may be needed. Installation physical, phys physical security officers should be consulated with them. Sure, the proper security requirements are considered within all in the design. All gates and sally ports should be equipped with blocking hardware. Sally ports, when designed a sally port, the following should be considered. The sally port must be prevented unauthorized entry of both pedestrian vehicles. The sally port must be open to minimum length of a 17 foot to allow cars to pass. Culverts draining in the track of the sally port should have security bars in them. It is recommended the drainage ditch of the security barrier areas to construction using concrete. This provides a head wall of the culvert foundation and mount rollers of the sliding gate. Chapter 9 Construction